In this video, we're going to show you how to position your background image when using Divi's parallax effect. A lot of times it can be difficult to control the position of the background image and a little bit frustrating to get the look that you're trying to go for. So hopefully this video will take away some of the question marks with the parallax effect. So what we're doing here is on this demo page that I created, we have a full width section along with a full width header module. And I've added some placeholder text and some padding above and, beyond and below. And then I've added my uh, background image, turned on the parallax effect and modified it so that we got this nice big uh, breathable room here for the parallax to scroll and most importantly we have our background image uh, positioned at the bottom so that we can see this stack of rocks and the pebbles on the bottom and to compare this to the default settings uh, when I first added this this is how it looks by default this section right here so we're going from this to this and I'm going to show you the CSS that we added to do that and then also we'll link to a, the post so you can copy and paste that. So if I go to the uh, full width header section settings, header, mod header module settings, then uh, again I added some placeholder text and then if we go down to the background section, click on the image Here's my image that I added and again this is a 1920 by 1080 px. Uh, this is a pretty good size to start with but you can play around with that depending on uh, the effect that you're going for. And then I turned on the use parallax effect toggle and we're using the true parallax method versus the CSS just because it gives a nicer scroll effect and once we had those set I went to my advanced tab CSID and classes and added the bottoms up CSS ID this is just so that I can target this specific uh, full width header versus the default one here so more than likely you're only going to have one per page so you may not need this but just so you know when you're looking at the CSS that's how we're that's why we're targeting a, a CSS ID and so if I uh, go to my page settings and then go to the advanced tab custom CSS this is where I've added all the CSS a lot of this could have been done within the module settings like the padding and the text align center but I want to do everything here so that you could see everything easily uh, copy it easily if you wanted to and then also so that I can explain you know some of what's going on here so the main thing here is this uh, we're targeting this ET parallax BG class and <clears throat> this is what's positioning our background to the bottom of that container uh, and then the other thing the rest of it basically just controls the header and the text and the positioning of the text but this padding is another uh, important thing and again this can be set in the module settings this is what's giving us our breathing room above and, and below our text so that we have a nice large window to to get that scroll effect so I change I change these values uh, differently on different screen sizes using these media queries and you can take a look at that but again uh, our primary focus here is this ET parallax BG and then uh, the first value here is going to be your your horizontal position background image and then the second value is your vertical position so horizontal there's not a whole lot you can do there uh, I would recommend cropping the image in a way that you know if you wanted your uh, if you wanted these pebbles to be in the middle of the the header then you would want to crop it so that they're in the middle and that's going to be a lot easier to, to do than trying to use CSS to control that. But vertically, we have a lot of leeway here. And if you notice, there's a, a negative value applied to this container. <clears throat> and the reason it needs to be a negative value, and we can't simply put bottom 
uh, is because if we go to this page and inspect element, you can see that this ET parallax BG container extends past the header. So here's the here's the end of the full width header section, and here's the end of the parallax background section. And so it's a good you know 300 pixels 400 pixels below the header and <clears throat> we just need to pull that up so that the bottom of the image is even with the bottom of the header and that's what we're that's what we're trying to do here and the reason that we're able to do that is because we have this 1920 by 1080 px so if we had a, a slimmer uh, wider image that was more landscape then it would be difficult to do this without creating an empty space at the bottom of the image and the bottom of the full width header. So we want to use a, the right size image and this is a good image to start with and then we need to give it a negative value to that background container. And again this is the default. Uh, so the default is it's centered horizontally and then the background image is in the top of it positions the image at the top of the image and you can see this is our top of our image with the peach color and same thing here and then by adding the 250 negative 250 px we can pull it all the way up so that the bottom of the image is at the bottom of the full width header Hope that uh, clears some things up and is helpful. Please check out the post and comment with any questions or if you have any uh, suggestions or improvements, those are welcome too. Thank you for watching.